Hello YouTube people, this is Andrea with another video for YouTube and I am doing it on this Toilet Tissue Mini album that I had so much fun making and I really recommend that uh, you try it if you haven't already. Um, they are uh, quick and easy and also you can be very creative at the same time with it. Um, so if you're looking to do something quick and easy and be creative at the same time, this is the project that you want to do. Okay, this particular paper stack that I used for this project was the, it came from Colorbox. It is actually the Chateau Noir collection, 12 by 12 collection. And it has 26 patterns, 10 solids, and 148 cutouts, which I think is very good because I bought it at Walmart for $5 and I ended up picking up like four or five stacks of the paper um, collection because it is really gorgeous and beautiful to be just black and white with gray accents to it i think it's so pretty so on to the mini okay over here i have some photo corners that i got at wild orchid crafts and i use um this button here, which I got from Goodwill, which I was so um, surprised that there's such a gorgeous button, and I got it from Goodwill. Uh, also, here I have the Love Metal Love Word uh, that I got from Michaels, and I also put some bling here and here. And then I used some um, bobbles here, clear bobbles. Four of them from the David to Tara line in Michaels. And another button. I really like this button. It's so pretty. And then another button here. Um, also use some silver uh, trim on the top and the bottom. I use for it to, um, to combine this album. I use uh, pop tops. Soda pop tops. Uh, soda can pop tops, sorry. Um, someone actually gave me a lot of them uh, recently because they were saving them for school. Um, but the school actually didn't need them. So I told her that, you know, she can give it to me and I will do something with them. So I really like the way that that came out. Uh, the pop tops. And then I use binder rings to combine all the pages. And then I use... Uh, a black braided trim to put over the pop tops to cover the middles. I also use white um, tool and this black and white um, this black and white ribbon and then this silver um, ribbon to to put on the binder rings and also I use this charm that I got from Michaels that I purchased for a dollar. Um, I believe it's actually $4.99 for this particular charm, but it was on sale um, when I purchased it. So uh, it has a silver pearl bead, the key here, uh, a bling charm. And then, I'm not sure what to call this charm, but I really like it. And then it also has a flower here. Okay, so the first um, page has this insert. And it is, this is from the paper stack. And then when you open it up, I have a Recollections flower with the bling center. And I didn't want to cover this up because I thought it was really pretty. I think it's like a damask type print. And everyone knows that my, um, if you watch my room tour, that my uh, room is black and white damask. So I really like that print. Over here I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have a Martha Stewart punch that I use. And um, some black mesh bling around 
the bottom and on the sides. And this that says the best day. And that was in the paper stack. This was actually not in the paper stack. Um, but I thought that it went well with this, um, with the theme of this album. Okay, I also did a Martha Stewart punch here. This was not from the paper stack as well. Um, this particular paper right here. But I thought it went well with the theme, so I used it. And I just have some, um, silver, um, mesh bling and then some black and silver mesh bling to go over top of that and this insert right here also not from the paper stack but because it went well with the theme I used it in this album and then this insert here is from the paper stack so I like that over here I used the same Martha Stewart punch this paper is not from the paper stack but it went well with the theme. Um, I also used the photo corners from Wild Orchid Crafts. Uh, I used this tag that I purchased from eBay. And of course this was not from the paper stack. But I like the way that it looked. And this particular insert I used this button. That has like a captain's anchor on there. Uh, captain ship anchor and then this is from the paper stack <laughs> sorry you guys I have sniffles and I'm trying to focus here so that you can see the details of okay there it is the details of the paper that's on the insert and again this is like the black damask print that I really like Sorry, I almost fell. Um, I had this um, word from the paper sack together. And used some black mesh bling to go around that. And then uh, room for a photo. Over here, I just have... Um, I just covered this with the... This is from the paper sack. It says Sweet Memories. Then this... Um, butterfly metal butterfly here that was from a earring that I had and I just took it apart and put that there and this insert is has another button okay it has another button sorry about that and it has the damask black print on there again this is from the paper sack Oh, sorry. I also use uh, glitter glue to do to go over that where it's sweet. It it kind of um, smeared a little bit, but I still like the way that it came out. Okay, I didn't want to cover this page. I thought that that was a pretty page. I like the border on this. That's for a photo. And I just have this um, clear stamp that says love and laugh on there. And then I figured that you could put a photo here and then some journaling possibly on the side. And I inked the edges with a black ink, um, this Craftsmart ink. And this, sorry, this tag here is from the photo stack. And some journaling on this side, and then a picture will go on this side, and then a button. Over here again, the black damask print that I really love. And over here I have a butterfly that's not from the paper stack. But I figured it would go well with this um, theme. And this is not from the paper stack either, but I figured that would be room for journaling here. And then room for a photo. Room for another photo. Also, this is a chipboard piece um, that I had in my stash. And I figured that it would just look um, nice on the back of here. And... Um, 
And that is the end of my toilet tissue mini. Um, also, I just want to point out that I did use the pop tops to uh, be as like a pull for someone to pull the, the inserts in and out. So it make it easier for them to do that. Um, I really like the way that this came out. If you did like it, please leave comments and let me know how how it looked and um, just your thoughts on it. And thank you for watching and have a really great day. Bye.